came so late you wouldn't even imagine. But let's animate a prompt with Blender. In 3, 2, 1, let's go. Boom. First you need Blender. Download it, install it in the link in the description. There are blend files that I did for you also in the description. Download and extract the file somewhere. Open the portrait AI file, press Z and move your mouse to material. Click open in the node and choose the cat color image. Now here on the right side, open the cat depth image. Click on the two icon and where it says depth map, you can increase or decrease the intensity of the 3D effect. Select the round icon in front of the cat and press R once to rotate from the view or press R twice to rotate freely. Press shift space to play the animation if you want to see it. Press Z and move the mouse to rendered. Now on the upper window on the right side you can pick the lights you want on the scene by clicking on the eye icons to turn them on or off. If you click on the light name, the light icon will appear on the window below this one that you're using. Click on it if you want to change the color or type or intensity of your lamp. If you want to rotate all the lamps, click on the icon in front of the cat and press R to rotate from the view or R twice to rotate freely. If you want to get fancy, turn on the volumes. There are three sorts, all animated, and you can choose the one you like the most. If you want, change the value of volume on the lamps, and the lamps will have a different effect on the fog. Now if you want to animate the camera, click on the circular icon in the middle of the screen. Go to the beginning of the timeline, put your mouse on the 3D screen and press I. Choose location, rotation and scale. Now go forward in time and rotate the circular object with R. Scale it with S or grab it with G to its final location. Press I and choose Location, Rotation and Scale. Click on the Printer icon and choose the output where you want to save your stuff and give it a name. Choose the size of the animation with the frame range. On the top right of the screen, all that has a camera icon will be rendered. Put the camera icon on only on the items that you want to be on the final animation. Go to the Render and click Render Animation. The other file is the same thing, just with different effects for exterior scenes. And I guess that's it. Oh, this one was very, very long. I don't have time to ask you to like, comment, or subscribe, neither to help us in Patreon, damn it. Anyways, I'll be back after I see the plants grow. Adios.